is getting beat up, submitted, knocked around the cage. It's what we love to see. This is a classic show, Bully Beatdown. Let's get into it. Jason Mayhem Miller. Jason Mayhem Miller, man. In prison right now. Hope he's doing well. It wasn't always this tough. Actually, I used to look like this. Oh, they put the TV 14 over his face, which was a bad decision to do. They should have slipped it over to the upper right third. So if there's something I hate, it's a bully. Same. We got a younger brother who's just a terror, man. He's a pain. Shame on you, Alan. He's a younger brother and you're having these struggles. You know, he's my younger brother, but he's big. He looks like the lead singer of Deftones. And I looked at him wrong and he put my head into the wall. Oh, they had to cover it with a generic Walmart doc photo situation. That's great. So this is a picture my family put up of me, and then this is a picture my family put up of him. Clearly, there's something going on wrong. You got bad parents. When your parents allow this to happen, what do you expect? Of course the brother's gonna flourish in these sorts of behaviors because he's not being checked at the door. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh my God, that kick was horrendous. Punches, kicks, speed, all around great. Yo, he said he's all around great. He loves himself too much. They're at the old Legends Gym in LA as well, which is pretty funny. No longer open. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. You sure? I'd like knocking you out on the ground right here. See, this is what led to Mayhem's demise, letting guys hit him in his head for free. Now the poor guy's in prison. I don't say poor guy because maybe he deserves to be in prison, but he is in prison is the point. And taking headshots when you're already a little loopy is not a good idea. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Jeremy Jackson, Jeremy. Oh! Whee! Whew. Annoying? Yeah. Painful? Eh. Not really. <laughs> if he gets you in this position, what are you gonna do? Passing the guard. Yo, he passed the guard without the right arm as an underhook. This guy knows nothing. They just showed him a basic full guard pass, I guess. They're starting full guard. So he passes to his left without getting the underhook. Hopefully he digs it in now. I'm not gonna lose this, bro. Never have, nor will I ever. The confidence of someone who knows nothing is ridiculous. All right, now he gets to meet the actual fighter, which is cool. Tony Morello. <laughs> My man wore a straight up work shirt to this event. This is a pretty brutal event. He wore a button down. That's different. This is Tony the Gun Bonello. Since Ryan doesn't respect family first, I'm gonna make him respect pain first. <laughs> I got my dad right here. Any man that doesn't respect their older brother and their father, learn a lesson. Down. He's gonna learn a lesson tonight. Oh, and we, we're prepared for it. Has, has to stop. I got a date with the ring card girl. Tell me what he does. So he beats stupid. me out. Messes me and makes fun of me. Look at the like front flap thing. on the hair. Look at the front flap on the hair. Why? Why 2009? So funny that they're actually pushing Pearl Jam's 10 on the advertisement in the lower third. How funny is that? Now, Pearl Jam's 10 came out in 1990. Don't get me wrong, Steve, 1991? And so yeah, they were still pushing that so many years later. It was awesome going back there talking to Tony. I saw the look in his eye and I knew he was ready to get the- Tony's gonna f this guy up. Job done. Whoa! Look at his face, he's like, oh my God, he's gonna kill my brother. That is a hard That's kick. Scary, actually. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm the real bully and I'm the real man. Ain't nobody gonna beat me. Even if you are acting, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta go in there against a pro and actually defend yourself. And that's gotta be hard. So the level of like commitment these guys have is pretty remarkable. All right, he's coming out with the Mexican slash Israel flags. He's an unusual concoction of genetics coming out ready to go. He needs to cut some weight though. It's very soft in the tit area, a lot of extra belly fat, but you could tell he's a strong kid. You ready to get punked and bullied? Ain't <laughs> happening, buddy. Ain't happening. Oh, the fake laugh. <laughs> Never gonna happen. You're gonna regret it, buddy. You're going down. That's what you got? Uh-oh, Tony Bonello coming in, ready to work. Look at him, look at him. He's like, I'm gonna f*** this guy up. He's a pro fighter. I'm a real fighter. You sure you wanna do this? I'm ready. Oh yo, 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 look how pumped up he is. Look how <laughs> he's so into it. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you leave a like. I appreciate the support. Let's get back into it. All right, big John McCarthy. Let's get into it. Oh, they smash bodies quick. Good head control, underhook, strong underhook, body lock. He gets the takedown, very good. Traps the leg with an outside hook and finishes the takedown. Ends up in a half guard on top. Let's see how he does in here. Uh, 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 pushes the kid against the rope, takes, against the cage rather, takes his back. Is he looking for the rear strangle? Oh, oh no. Scrambles out, but his back is still controlled. Good alignment, steps over the top, looking for the rear strangle. Is he gonna transition to an arm bar? Rear strangle. 
Gets it. Gets it with a palm to palm grip, short choke. That's 1,000. Mouthpiece hanging out after one submission. The guy's been drinking quarter life for the past six months. He ain't ready for this. Yeah. Yeah. Body lock. Let's Tony. finish the takedown, Tony. Another outside trip. Scores a takedown, lands in half guard. Snaps the head down to the front headlock. Guillotine against the cage and gets another strangle. Gets another one. Come on. This, is what, this kid is not ready for this. Tony, you got a minute to go, man. Come on. Jumps on the back. Guillotine him. Yeah, there you go. Another guillotine. Yeah, get him, get him. Gets another one. Gets another strangle. Look at the mouth. Look at the mouth and the hair. Remember, this is the first episode, so I don't think that the athletes really knew what they were getting into, and obviously the bullies had no reference at all. He wanted to hit him so badly right there. When you're a fighter or someone who trains and competes on any level, you understand how exhausting it is to do this. So you're not the kind of person typically who's gonna walk around talking because you know how vulnerable you are to feeling tired, feeling like quitting. When you haven't done any of that stuff, you can really become delusional and believe the you tell yourself in the mirror. And most of the time it's all a lie. We all get tired, we're all beatable. It's the only way through and to become successful or quality athlete and fighter is to train as hard as you can, which is basically going through hell. Let's see if we can get the stoppage in this one. I'd like to see a stoppage. Hard outside low kick. Always taunting him. You shouldn't do that. You definitely shouldn't do that. Oh, hard right hand lands by Tony. Rocks him. Takes the legs out from under him. Hard right hand. See, the issue when you don't train is you may be able to throw a hard punch, so you're good at being the hammer, as we say, but you're not good at being a nail. Being good at being a nail is genetic on one level, and two, it's something that you can develop over time. How to mentally work your way through being tired and hurt. This guy hasn't developed that because he doesn't train. Oh, right hand to the head, left hook to the liver. A lot of fat covering that liver. Hard right hand over the top, man. There we go. Hard right hand over the top is what we're looking for here. Hard switch, kick to the liver. That's it. Bro, he got hit in the liver. Let me tell you something. When you get hit in the liver, in the right spot at the right time, your legs go, your body shuts down. It's ridiculous. First episode of the first season and we get a knockout. Body kick. It hurts. And when you've never felt it before, man, it's like getting stabbed in the side with a hot iron. Oh, man. Look. Right to the liver. Look at that. And you can see it's always a delayed reaction. We're like, oh. There's nothing we love more than seeing bullies get their ass kicked in. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you have. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell so you get reminded when I post videos. We've been trying to upkeep the dailies. So we're going to try to stick to that for as long as possible. I appreciate you, Strangle Gang, and I'll see you in the next one.